Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a comparison between these two Kindles. So this is the 10th generation Kindle Paperwhite and this is the 11th generation. So this one is the successor to this one basically. Um, so I'm just going to be doing a comparison between some features and whatnot so that you can make a good choice when looking into maybe buying one of these. So obviously right off the bat I'm just going to say it. The 11th generation is definitely like the obvious pick. It's the newer model, it has new features. So if you're looking for a quick like recommendation, get the 11th gen, it's newer, it has more features and better features. So if you're looking just for a straight answer, there it is. But if you want some more detail about whether or not it's worth it to pay more money for the 11th generation than the 10th generation, then I'm gonna be going into some features and comparing the two so that you can make a good decision if you are looking to buy maybe rather the 10th generation than the 11th. So yeah, we're going to be covering that in today's video and I hope this helps you and gives you some insight into these two devices. The 10th generation Kindle Paperwhite was released in 2019 whereas the 11th generation was brought out in 2021 so obviously it was just the newer model of the 10th generation. The first thing I want to cover is the design of the two devices. So the 11th generation did get a design refresh from the 10th generation so you will see it's very noticeable that it is bigger in size. So the 11th generation is bigger in size of body as well as in screen size. So we went from a six inch display on the 10th generation to a 6.8 inch display on the 11th generation. So you do have a bit more screen real estate, which could be helpful to fit more words on your screen when reading. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's a noticeable difference definitely. So that is a design change for the front. Then as for the bottom here, you will see you have your charging ports and then your lock button so we still have the same kind of layout but now with the 11th generation we have a USB-C charging and on the 10th generation we had micro USB so this might not be such a big deal for you you do get a charging cable in the box with both of these but I just prefer having USB-C on my devices since I have it on multiple devices already so it's just more convenient having USB-C since micro USB is kind of outdated now but like I said, you do get a cable in the box. So it's not really such a big deal if you don't mind it. So that is just a noticeable difference. There is a difference in charging. Also do note that the 10th generation does come in more colors than the 11th generation, if that's something that matters to you. So the 10th generation comes like in black. It has a blue color, a plum color, and a sage color. So it has more color options if that's something that is important to you. Whereas for now, the 11th generation only comes in black which yeah, that is just what it is. Now I wanna cover more performance wise, what's kind of different and just like the experience using these two, what's the difference? The first thing I wanna cover is battery life. So on the 10th generation, it is said to that it can last up to four weeks without charge if you read about 30 minutes per day. And then the 11th generation is said to last up to six weeks without charge if you read about 30 minutes a day. So do with that information as you will. I never read just 30 minutes. Usually it would be longer periods of time, sometimes shorter in between, but usually if I'm sitting real down to read a book, it's probably longer than a half an hour. But overall, battery life has not been an issue, I think, on either one of these. Overall, battery life is great, and you'll just have to charge it every now and again. But yeah, overall, battery life is great on both of these devices. Then a big difference between these two as well is that the 11th generation comes with adjustable warm light so you can basically make it more warm which basically makes your screen look a bit more yellow but it's better on your eyes than the harsh blue light so if you, you'll see that in the brightness settings you have two toggles you have brightness and then you have the temperature whereas the 10th generation model only has the option of brightness so that is something you can note if that's more important to you then the 11th generation is definitely the way to go both of these are also ipx8 water resistant so basically what that means is is that the Kindle can basically go under fresh water for 60 minutes, um, two meters deep and still be fine. So that is something, so you have kind of ease of mind with both of these that your Kindle will be fine if you, if you get a bit of water with it. So it's nice if you wanna go read outside at the pool or in the bath or whatever, you don't have to worry about it breaking if you get some water on it. 
Then I guess the biggest user difference is the speed wise. So the 11th generation is slightly faster than the 10th generation. I wouldn't say it's so much faster. It's definitely noticeable, but it's not such a big deal that I would say it's definitely worth getting the 11th gen over the 10th gen. They're both kind of slow if you compare it to your phone, but I think that's just limitations with the type of technology that you have with e-readers. But overall, they're both good in performance. Um, I would still like do book browsing and things rather on my phone and then just read it on my Kindle because overall user interface is a bit slow, but it is slightly faster on the 11th generation. Both of these are still updated to the newest software, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about your 10th generation Kindle being outdated or not having the latest software. It is exactly the same experience software wise on both of these devices. The only difference really is that on the 11th generation, you have have the option for like a page turn animation which you don't get on the 10th generation but if that's not really important to you which I don't think it's like a reason to decide to buy one rather than the other um, it's not that big of a deal also something that I noticed um, when setting up my Kindle um, that made a big difference to me I guess is that you can set up your 11th gen Kindle Paperwhite with your phone, whereas the 10th generation is mostly manual. So I could go on my phone, sign into my Amazon account and all that, and it just made it a lot faster than having to type it all out and everything on the 10th gen. I don't know if that was just because there was an update in between, but I'm pretty sure it's only available on the 11th gen. But yeah, that made a big difference for me because setting up a device is also kind of part of the user experience. So I just want to mention that, that setting up the 11th gen was for me significantly easier than on the 10th gen. So those are all bullet points of facts about these two devices and features that one has, the other doesn't, or that they both have. So with all that being said, my personal opinion is the 10th generation model is still a good buy if you are not interested in a bigger display or spending more money or getting some of the other features. Um, I would definitely, if you were just looking for the newest Kindle, recommend the 11th gen Kindle Paperwhite. It's obvious good choice to make. But if you, like I said, if you want to save a few bucks, um, the 10th generation will definitely not disappoint you. Like I said, it still gets great updates. Um, it still has the same software, all that. So it's definitely still worth buying if you are looking to save a few bucks. But in the long run, 11th generation is definitely a better purchase as it is the newer one. So that is my overall thoughts on these two devices. So yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on these two devices, what you think is the better option, and if you have some recommendations or things, leave that in the comments down below. I really love both of these devices. I mean, it's a Kindle, it's made for reading and making reading easier, so both of these do achieve that goal. So like I said, it's not really that deep, but if you were looking for a more comparative analysis or something like that, I guess this was that for you. So I hope this helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.